I was overwhelmed, <laughs> seriously overwhelmed at how many lovely messages that I got from the last video asking me things like, how do you stay so positive all the time? How do you stay so energetic? You always seem to be smiling, you always seem to be happy. And that video kind of wasn't about that message. The video was to kind of show people that there are people that are struggling. Now, I struggle. There, I've said it. I am not happy-go-lucky all the time. I do not always have my shit together. It might look like it, but that's not the case. So you will only ever see the good versions. It's what we all do. It's the trap that we all fall into, but something has got to change. Now, I had a lot of messages of people asking me tips and tricks on how they can get their mental health up. So there's lots of little things I've started implementing recently to try and lift my game for my brain. Okay, there's one thing looking after your physical health, but for me more importantly is if this isn't in check, nothing else is gonna fucking work. What does good mental health look like? Good mental health to me might look completely different to what good mental health looks like to you. So I'm gonna lay out six top tricks that I feel could benefit people. They might not benefit everybody, but the things that over the last couple of years have worked for me. I used to work in retail, quite a stressful environment. I wish I knew then these six things that I'm gonna to talk to you about because they would have made my life a lot easier. So before we can fix something, we need to understand what the problem is. So what does good mental health look like? Well, let's talk about what bad mental health looks like. Are you anxious? Are you stressed? Are you upset quite a lot of the time? Do you get quite sensitive to situations? Do you feel like you always need to justify things that you're doing? Are you angry? Do you blow up quite quickly? Do you take things to heart? These are all signs of bad mental health or not great mental health. Now, every single one of you is entitled to the best mental health possible. We all deserve it. We're all human. And in our own little ways, we give amazing things back. So it's only right that we should put things into place to make sure that we are running at full capability and to our most maximum capability. Looking after your mental health should be something that you implement day in, day out. Every minute of the day, every hour of the day, every day of the week, every week of the month, every month of the year. Fucking hell, that was hard to remember. <laughs> um, it should be something that we're doing all the time. It shouldn't be something that we're just dipping into when we're feeling shit. It should be something that we're visiting every single day. People invest in gym memberships, they'll invest in food prep companies, they'll invest in personal trainers, um, they'll invest in mindfulness and meditation courses, they'll invest small scale by maybe downloading the Calm app or a mindful app. Um, they'll invest in themselves by buying a journal and writing down the thoughts and the feelings to try and make sense of what it is that's going on in the head. These are all little ways, simple ways and effective ways that you can adopt to start to invest in your own mental health. But I can't stress this enough, it is not something that we should only tackle or deal with or put a plan in place for when we're struggling. It's something that we should be doing all the time. Here are, here, here are my top, <laughs> here are my top six pieces of advice I've adopted these past few years to help keep my mental health on track. Number one, easier said than done, ditch the shit. So that is ditch the shit thoughts, ditch those shit people that are in your life, ditch the shit situations that are bogging you down. Sometimes without even realising, we're gonna develop crazy ass patterns and bad habits that are not good for us. But by being aware of these things that are shit and acknowledging them, we can actually take action and do something about them. And I promise you, ditching the shit out of your life will enhance your mental health and well-being. Okay, tip number two is be in the present. Again, it's easier said than done. How do I be in the present when my head's foggy, my brain's all over the place and I can't focus properly? A little tip that I do is as and when a thought enters my head, whether it's good, bad, negative, positive, whatever it is, I let it come into my head and before a response comes out of my mouth, I take a few seconds to have a think and hear myself say what it is that's just entered my head over and over in my head. And I try to pull myself out of the situation. I take myself almost out of my head and imagine that I'm somebody else listening to myself say that thought. What it starts to make you understand is what the thoughts that are coming into your head are, first and foremost, 
Are they going to serve you by actually reacting to them? And thirdly, are they healthy thoughts? If they're not healthy thoughts, then you can just bat them out of your head. Try and get them out of there and don't focus too much time on those that are negative. Also taking time on how you're thinking and feeling will help give you a little bit more of a better perspective. So something that enters your head might first be negative, but after thinking, it through, after thinking for a few seconds through it, you might actually think, oh, okay, so there's a positive out of this. There's a way around this. There's a way of, of me expressing myself to get this across in a positive way as opposed to a negative way. Every silver cloud. No, every cloud has a silver lining. Yeah, every cloud has a silver lining. Step number three, get more sleep. Sounds obvious, but are you getting eight to nine hours sleep a night? If you're not, what is going on? Yeah, but I work crazy hours. Yeah, but I've got children. Yeah, this, yeah, that. Yeah, nothing, okay? Take power naps during the day. At the weekend, the majority of people are off at the weekend. Relax, <laughs> don't cram loads of things in back to back in your diary to try and see people and fill your weekend. Have a weekend off. I know myself and I'm sure a lot of you are the same. If I don't get enough sleep, I am a cranky bitch. I'm short tempered, I get quite sensitive and I get quite grouchy, but that's my own fault. If I've not had enough sleep, I can't physically function the day after. I can't process things properly. Like I say, my temper's quite short. Sleep is so important. It is the one time in the day when your body is just completely relaxed, or for a lot of people, completely relaxed, and you don't have to think, how amazing is that? For a small section of your day, you actually don't have to think. You should capitalize on that. <laughs> Get as much of that as you possibly can. Tip number four is connecting with people. Now, when I first started doing this, obviously you'd think, because I've got quite a social job, that I'm really good at connecting with new people and building up new relationships and starting new friendships and new social gatherings. I hate it. <laughs> I hate being somewhere that I don't know where I am. I hate being around people that I don't know. Not that I hate it, but I personally don't feel like I deal with those situations well. So the first thought in your head is, oh my God, I need to impress these people. Pe these people don't know anything about me. Uh, how am I gonna kind of, how am I gonna come across? Am I gonna come across too eager? Am I gonna come across too abrupt, too shy, too nervous? Like all these things start running through your head. And before you know it, you've actually spoiled that first, that first interaction and that, that first meet that should be great and that you should get a lot from. Put yourself in as many of those situations as you possibly can. Feel uncomfortable, feel nervous, feel frightened and just learn from each and every single one that you do. I got into the habit um, last Christmas of going to as many networking events as I possibly could. I did a few fashion ones, I did a few mindfulness ones and I put myself in those situations. Yeah, I hated that feeling, but it got me better with how I am when I first meet people. I'm now not second guessing how I'm coming across when I'm meeting new people and all around it is better for your mental health. Also, how shit is it when you feel lonely? When you're at home on your own, when you're out on your own and you've got nobody to kind of spill your ideas off and talk to. Being around people is really good for your mental health. People that love you, people that care about you and new people that you can learn things from. So not only is it good for your mental health, but it's also good for your personal development of which I have learned massively these last two years. Tip number five, lead a healthy life. Now, my healthy is gonna be different to your healthy and your healthy is gonna be different to their healthy. What works for you? What are you doing or what are you eating or maybe what are you training when you are feeling your best? For me, when I'm eating well, and by well I don't mean like super, super healthy, when I'm eating in balance, my body feels really good. My body feels really good and my brain feels really good. So in connection to that, when I'm eating well and I'm training, I feel good. When I'm out hiking, I feel good. When I'm doing hot yoga on a Saturday and a Sunday, I feel good. When I am around friends and family and people that I love and care about, I feel good. So checklist, if it makes you feel good, do more of it. Why the fuck are you not doing more of it? If it makes you feel good, it makes you feel mint, it makes you feel warm and fuzzy, do it more often. Enjoy the outdoors, eat healthy, train, walk, sing, dance, whatever the fuck you wanna do that makes you feel good do it. Cut down on your caffeine, drink more water. There's lots of little things that you can do throughout your day that might have become habitual for you that you can tweak and change so that it makes it better and healthier for yourself. And finally, finally, do something 
just for you. Nobody else, just for yourself. Now, this is something that I have struggled to put into practice and I would say that I've only recently been doing it for about the past four or five weeks. But you have to, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single or whether you're part of a group or whatever it is, whatever your situation currently, fuck everybody off and do something just for you. Join that class, join that group, do that thing, pick up that skill, start that hobby. Do something that is just centralised around you, where you are the main focus. Be the one that that thing is all about. Make that thing all about you. There is nothing selfish in putting yourself first. And I keep telling people this time and time again. People say to me, oh, I can't do that for myself because such a body needs to do this and I feel really selfish. No, there is nothing selfish about putting yourself first and putting your mental health and well-being above other mundane things. So by putting those things into practice and by adopting, even if you only adopt two or three of them or even one, you will start to see a big difference in your mental health. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you already do any of these things. Let me know if you've tried them. Let me know if you're gonna try them. Let me know how you get on. It would be amazing to know if this video has helped and if you want me to do more videos like this because for me, going forward, my second promise on videos is if I feel it, I'm gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna say it. If I feel it, I'm gonna say it and I, oh, oh I strongly advise you guys to do the same. There is so many amazing people that not only are on my social media platforms, but that I meet day to day that are not pushing to the full potential. So talented, so amazing, so incredible. And you are all here for a purpose. And it's about finding that purpose and just being you and being you, your amazing self, and not thinking about what other people are thinking, not getting caught up on what other people are saying. Just do you. <laughs> just do you and be grateful be grateful have a gratitude attitude and you pretty much can't go wrong